Hey everyone, Mars Jake 8 here, bringing you another episode of Monday Music Recap Recap Events from last week. Let's get started. First off, I hope everyone had a great Halloween. Lacey Sturm, formerly of Flyleaf, has announced that she will be resurfacing with a debut solo album titled Life Screams. It is set to release sometime in 2016. There isn't an official date yet. Hopefully that will be coming soon. Either way around, I am a thrilled to hear that she's doing this. She's probably one of my more favorite vocalists, so I can't wait to hear what she's got. Anyways, the first single is set to be released on November 6th and is titled Impossible. To learn more, be sure to check below in the description. I'll leave a link for you guys. Panic at the Disco has announced their new album, Death of a Bachelor. It is set to be released on January 15, 2016. Tonight Alive has announced their new album, Limitless, which is set to be released on March 4, 2016. We Came as Roman members David Steffen, Lou Cotton, and Andrew Glass have started a new super heavy band, as they describe it, called Crucible. It also features former Taproot drummer Neil Fred Fredrill. Silverstein frontman Shane Told has announced he will be releasing a solo album in the near future. Falling in reverse as Jackie Vincent is leaving the band to focus on his solo career. The split is immiscible and everyone is on good terms. So no worries there. If This is according to both statements released by the bands. And if you want to check the, that out, I will leave it below. We the Kings has announced they will be releasing a new album titled Strange Love on November 20th. You can check out the artwork below. Brand New is in the studio again, but has seen that they've been playing this game for a little while now. I really don't know whether that's going to mean anything or not. Here's hoping, though. Former Every Time I Die drummer Ryan Ledger has teamed up with Norma Jean frontman Corey Brandon and ex-Dead and Divine guitarist Chris Lamasters to form a new project called Hundred Sons. Adele has announced she will be releasing her new album, 25, which is set to release on November 20th. Mars, what are you doing posting news about Adele? I don't know. I like Adele. Shut up. All Shall Paris has announced they've reunited with their old lineup. If you want to learn more, check them below the description. Coheed and Cabrera has announced a new U.S. fall tour with Glass Jaws. Dates released. If you want to check those out, check below in the description. For new music, we have Like Moss to Flame, The Art of Losing, Escape the Fate, Alive, Violent New Breed, that's Max Green's new band. Hopefully this one lasts a little bit. Anyways, uh, Casket Dream, Aiden featuring Chris Motionless, Animals, A Lost for Words, Shine On Crazy, Neil Diamond, uh, and Weezer, Thank God for Girls. For new music videos, we have The All-American Rejects, There's a Place, Tonight Alive, Human Interactions, Panic at the Discos, Emperor's New Clothes, Coheed and Cabrera, Island, August Burns Red featuring Jerry McKinnon, Ghost, Simple Plan, I Don't Want to Go to Bed, Ugh. Ice Nine Kills, Communion of the Cursed. Be sure to check out all of those down below in the links. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Monday Music Recap. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Mars out.